Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are here at the Palmer Boat Show with Nova Nautico to have a look at this. I've never seen one of these before, Pacific Craft. It is one of those many, many boats built and molded in Poland. Probably the uh, boat building capital of Europe. Italy might argue with that, but very modern. Little hull windows down there. This is the Sun Cruiser 700. So basically she's a seven meter day cabin boat. But you know, really practical boat, trailable. This particular variant comes with a 200 horsepower Yamaha. Little platform extensions on either side, which is really neat. Swim ladder in there. Nice to see a grab handle as well to give you something to hold on to. Ski hooks. Under here we have a little bit of self-draining storage. And you'll notice that there are little bolts over there. The idea is that when the engine folds forward, that hinges forward to bring the engine out the water. As you step on board, quite neatly, they've got this little cushion here that just folds out the way so you can come on board. Jump in here, fold that little cushion back, and then you've got a really nice run of seating across the back of the boat. Storage bin under there, quite a decent storage bin, actually runs pretty much the whole way across. Foot there to put a little table in, and you'll notice this over here. So effectively, these are two fold down seats so one on that side and another one over here, like so. And you can then, if you want to, put the table in, drop it down, and this whole section here becomes a full sunbathing area. But obviously, if you're fishing or water sports or just cruising along, you can fold those seats back up out the way and have it for dining. Equally, if you are dining, you can then turn these two captains and navigator seats around and use them for dining, or you can use them for their desired purpose. Obviously, this is a boat show boat, so it's not fitted out, so it wouldn't normally come with a steering wheel. And again, you can upgrade the engine options if you want to, and then there's room down here for um, a multifunction display and all your normal engine gauges and instruments up there. Little sliding door here drops us down into the cabin now this is technically classed as a walk around so you have got access up both side decks they're asymmetric so this one is obviously raised and a little bit narrower that takes you all the way forward nice perspex windscreen and a great to see grab handle inboard and outboard so you drop in here we get a little quite a sweet little cabin you can see in there that section lifts out and becomes a table so either a table for dining in here or as we spoke about, a table for dining on the aft deck. And then you can see that run of hull windows, which does really make it surprisingly light and bright in here. There's another little hull window up there for ventilation. And then we have exactly the same over here on this side. A Little bit of storage underneath here. And also, which is quite nice as well, if we drop inside, you'll notice that over here, under this little unit, is a chemical loo. I've got a sneaky feeling you can actually have a uh, pump out toilet if you want to but there is decent you know sitting headroom down here and it's a really big bed actually surprisingly large forward hatch here in the foredeck so if you want some ventilation in your own bed you can do obviously just fitted out completely grp in here with a little bit of suede finishings over there but really nice light switch over there 12 volt button as i say Locker in there, bit of storage, somewhere to keep your steering wheel. But quite an impressive little boat. I'm not 100% sure of the price is at this exact moment in time, um, but I will find out and drop them below. Just have a quick wander forward. So I say this is the wider of the two side decks. So good space to walk up on the fore deck. And then you've got these big, big sun cushions. Obviously this one here is covering up the hatch we looked at earlier and then if you join it a bit further forward this one here hides your anchor locker but yeah a little bit of a backrest there quite an impressive little boat so i do hope you've liked this tour do please like and subscribe we've got loads of videos on the channel i'll put some up here for you to have a look at let me know your thoughts and thank you very much to the guys and girls at novo nautica for letting us have a look around this i'll catch up with you next time around Thank you very much for watching.